you know, you probably picked up a lot of acronyms while you're out here, right? Let's hear you recite some acronyms. <laughs> okay, NASA, CSFSU, ICPS, LH2, TSM. I should ask you about one more acronym, CBD. Did you, did you look that one up? Did you study up on that? I did not. <laughs> What's up? I'm Joshua Dobbs. You've probably seen him as an NFL quarterback. I'm also an aerospace engineer, AKA rocket scientist. So for the past two weeks, I've been interning here at NASA, here at Kennedy Space Center. I started as a young age. I was really good at math and science. My parents gave me the opportunities to learn about different passions I had. So one of the opportunities we did as a kid, I came actually down to Kennedy Space Center while seven. We got a chance to tour the Space Center. So got a chance to meet different astronauts. So I knew I was definitely interested in it. And then it grew throughout middle school, high school. I was good at math and science, started taking physics classes. So in college, I knew, hey, I want to do aerospace engineering. An engineer playing quarterback for Tennessee is awesome. So fast forward to now, you glad you did all that? Well, I, I feel like being a quarterback and like being an engineer are very similar. Your defense is giving you different problems, or you're taking the assessing the data from film. You have to assess those problems and solve them quickly and quickly think to put your team in an efficient situation. Now we're getting ready for the Artemis program to put the first woman and the next man on the moon by 2024. That's the goal of all this. It's exciting. Yep, yep, got to pay, pay attention to safety announcements. And I don't want to get in trouble for, for not doing that. Having a hard time believing that two weeks have gone by and you're already at the end of your NFLPA externship. I know it's been it's been crazy how fast the time has flown by, but personally, you know, I was just thankful for the NFLPA and NASA for joining together and making this opportunity happen for me. So you guys have been very hospitable. So I was thinking about going up to the 16th floor so that we can take a look at the staggering all the different systems that we've been supporting over the last two weeks. All these platforms, as you've seen yourself, are, are necessary for us to get up close to the vehicle, to, to perform the work on it. It's, it's quite a, a plant. It's been so fascinating for me, this whole period has been, so you come in here and you see the whole tower, and then you also have to remind yourself that this whole thing moves with a rocket on it to the launch pad. Be a driver, you have to be an engineer, so mm -hmm. you got your first part done already. Okay. So drivers for training, and how do you train them? I mean, a lot it, of it's right here. But like, is it moving? Oh yeah, this is actually the steering wheel. It looks kind of funny, it's little, it's very small. It, it turns in degrees. Mm -hmm. um, so 60 degrees is his max turn? That's actually six degrees. Six degrees six is his max, wow. Yes, you turn the steering wheel, and then it takes a little bit for the treads below you to turn. So you have to be thinking way ahead. You might turn a half degree, and you might have to wait 30 seconds for this thing to say you actually did turn did half turn a degree. Far. We only go forwards and reverse. We can't turn around. We can't make a three-point turn. So, right here, we're standing at the bottom of the flame trench. So if you look behind me, when the rocket comes out, it will sit above us on those platforms. It will be called SLS, and this is where the exhaust from the flame trip comes. So as part of the instrumentation group, we're taking a lot of measurements of the exhaust flame coming out, so we're able to use it for the next launches that we have further down the line. Hey, this is Jeremy Graber. How you doing, going, Josh? Nice um, to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so I'm the chief of the test launch and recovery branch. Okay. And uh, welcome to Fireman One. Wow, a lot of history in here. Absolutely. Uh, this this room's seen a lot of really amazing uh, feats. The the building itself, the launch control center, was uh, built to support the Apollo program. Apollo Four was the first launch that was uh, done out of this facility, and it was managed out of this control room. All of the, the major Apollo missions that you're familiar with, mm -hmm. Apollo 11 going to the moon, that team was in this room okay. and launched from here. Wow. Uh, if a room could say a thousand words, right? All engine running. We have a liftoff. Liftoff on Apollo 11. My mentor, thank you. Thank you, one, for showing us around today. And then second, thank you for this wonderful externship opportunity. It's been a blast for me and a great learning opportunity. So yep. thank you. Thank you again. And now we're going to go where they keep the aliens. So, just submitted my astronaut application. I'll see you guys on the moon.